Good morning and today I'm going to share to you about the basic requirements in applying a job in China. Take note guys, it should be basic, okay? Um, though there are other additional requirements depending on the position that you're going to apply, but I will just give you the basic stuffs that you have to prepare whenever you will decide to come here. And this, this video is not encouraging you to come to China, but to help uh, my friends and um, other people who are considering and who doesn't have any clue what to do, what to prepare in coming to China. Um, I received a lot of questions about China and I decided to uh, just prepare a video about this so I could help you and this is more convenient than talking to me and considering my classes and schedule so it's better to have a vlog about this. So first, let's go to the first one. It's your passport. You have to prepare your passport guys. and. Um, upon application, you should have at least six months. Better to have a year or two before my expire in passport. Okay, you will experience a lot of difficulty and inconvenience if your passport is about to expire maybe five months later or maybe eight months later. Second, you should prepare your CV or or resume and this resume will help the employer to know more about you basic information about you and other stuffs that uh, they would really help them to um, to weigh if you are really suitable for the position okay and the third one is uh, your introductory video. I already posted a video about this. <laughs> it was like a year ago and katawanan to kai. It was a video I I sent I sent to my employer now and I got the job. So <laughs> I tried to post it on the YouTube in case someone will ask for you know idea what to prepare and what to say into your introductory video <laughs> okay the next one is your teaching video uh this job that i got is um Actually, I my employer didn't ask for a teaching video, but when I was applying for kindergarten, primary school uh, position before, um, the employer or the Chinese agents would usually ask for a teaching video. In the video, you usually sing, and sometimes you have to teach something or uh, in a class with the students that would be very better uh, let's go to the fifth one uh, you need to prepare your non-criminal record you will maybe you will be surprised when there was a non-criminal record non-criminal check these are their um, let's say the term that they usually use here in the Philippines, we call it NBI record, okay? And your NBI record, guys, should be um, authenticated. They call it apostille or apostille. I, I really don't know how to say it. You go to the DFA and ask them to authenticate your document. And then after that, you go to the Chinese embassy for a stamp. And... Uh, I heard that there is an, a consulate in Davao. You can ask if they they are uh, processing this document for you because in my experience, I went to uh, DFA Manila and I also went to um, Chinese Embassy in Makati City. And oh my God, I, I spent a lot of money. <laughs> Dili ko magastuhan sa Dili ko magastuhan kaayo sa 
sa sa sa fee in the authentication and the stamped magastuan ka sa pamasahe so you are so lucky enough that there is um there is an office for the DFA and the Chinese embassy in Davao City it's it would cost you uh, it will help you to save a lot of money then you also have to do the same process to your TOR and diploma remember for state universities and colleges you don't need uh, to go to CHED for CAV uh, you because uh, what I've learned is that uh, state universities and colleges it's the college and the order university will do the CAV for you and do a lot of things for to, to, to prepare the document for the DFA authentication for private universities you really do have to go to the CHED uh, they will do the CAV and then you after that you can go to the um, uh, DFA for for the processing of your documents okay um, next is your you should have at least two years of teaching experience uh, so if you will be applying for a position like a math teacher a PE teacher or a chemistry teacher, physics teacher, etc. You should have at least two years of exp teaching experience on these subjects. In my case, uh, I was hired as an oral English teacher and IELTS teacher in this uh, school. And um, I have a lot of experience for teaching English so it's very easy for me to get a job because my experience is in line with my um, the position that I was I did apply before then uh, if some of the some of the institutions and Chinese agents would ask for your TESOL or TAFL this is a um, certificate that would also help you and we will talk more about the TESOL and TEFL in my next video uh, actually it would cost you from what I know is that 8,000 or more and it should be uh, uh, widely accepted internationally okay you have to have the CANA and the authentication something like that as for me, I didn't have the tassel because my employer didn't ask for it. But I am actually planning to get one because I am about to renew my visa. And at least I have something to show them that um, I have another certificate aside from my teaching license. Um, it helped a lot for me in my case to have my master's degree. Okay, uh, when I... I applied for my visa be before they asked me for a tassel or TAFL but when they saw that I have a master's degree in education they didn't ask for it anymore so it would be an edge if you have a master's degree lastly is your teaching license um, they will ask for it they will uh, ask you to, to show it so they will know that you are really a certified teacher um reminder is a reminder for you is that uh, you have to scan all these documents ahead of time before you're going to apply you have to prepare these documents okay mangayo sila mangayo sila scan copy sa imo they will ask for it and at least it's ready to go and second I remind you to uh, download the WeChat because in China they don't have which uh, they don't have Facebook it's banned here so kinahanglan ka mag WeChat kay mga agents and uh, schools they usually use the WeChat because it's very convenient here and you have to have this application for for you for an easy application process 
Okay, that's all. Um, I talked a lot. I hope that uh, I did help you in at least give you us some knowledge about what to prepare it here in China. Salamat kaayo and I will be uh, making more videos in the future. Kanang makatabang sa atong tenen. Okay. I receive a lot of messages about China and making this video will um will will be very convenient for me to just share it to you then replying to you one by one but really really i'm really happy to to help and to share what i've learned so that you will also experience the convenience so thank you very much and i hope i did help you god bless us all